We begin tonight with a story you'll only see on News 5. It's a skier's worst nightmare being buried alive in an avalanche, trapped under a snowpack similar to concrete, just waiting, hoping someone will rescue them before they run out of oxygen. So who gets dispatched to these types of rescue missions? We just gave you a clue. News 5's Laura Wilson went on special assignment to Monarch Mountain to find out. She's in studio tonight with more. Laura. Well, I wanted as authentic of an experience as possible when I was filming this, so I asked Ski Patrol to bury me in a simulated avalanche and then have a very unique member of their squad track me down using his intuition and very keen sense of smell. Now, once you're buried under the snow, every minute of oxygen becomes very precious. On average, 27 people are killed in avalanches every year in the U.S. Ready? Go find them. And sometimes the difference between survival and suffocation underneath the snow comes down to a dog. At almost eight years old, Anshin knows this mountain better than most skiers. He spent his whole life up here. He's one of the members of Monarch Mountain's Ski Patrol. Get in there. Anshin and his handler both completed the Colorado Rapid Avalanche Deployment Program, which essentially makes them the maverick and goose of the ski patrol world. It's great to come to work and have a furry face to sit on the chairlift with, and I can talk to him and he won't give me any fuss back. <laughs> and this top dog has taken on a young gun this winter. Meet one-year-old Glenn. He is named after Glenn Plake, a uh, famous free skier. Big boots to fill. Yeah. But he's more interested in trying to follow in the footsteps of his canine counterpart. They're the best buds. I mean, Glenn definitely follows him around and Anchin's showing him the way. It'll be at least another year before Glenn gets his CRAD certification. The last year of training has focused more on obedience exercises <laughs> and rescue drills like this one. Yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Hopefully by the end of the year, uh, we can do a single burial. And that happens to be Anshin's area of expertise. With avalanche conditions at moderate that day, it was an opportune time to give him a refresher course. His mission? Oh my gosh. Dig me out before my oxygen runs out. Ski Patrol has a lot of the life-saving gear, like a beacon and shovel, but dogs have their own secret weapon in avalanche rescue. They smell anything. Get in there, Ant. They'll separate their scents. They know who's above the snow and what's under the snow. About 100 yards out. He had his nose up in the air, and that's what we call air scenting. He was already trying to figure out who was who. From there, he follows what's called a scent cone to help pinpoint my location. And if it's a solid scent, he'll do both paws and he'll just start digging, 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 digging. This is exactly how a real rescue would be executed. Dogs are great to have because most people don't ski at a ski resort with an avalanche transceiver or a beacon. You OK? <laughs> yeah, I'm OK. Good okay. boy. We're moving along to our next person. Did you find him? Anshin recovering a second buried person before enjoying some well-deserved free time with this furry protege. The playful pair blissfully unaware that their dedication and determination may very well one day save a life. What a life. Wow. <laughs> They're amazing dogs. Right. They really right. were fantastic. Um, something that was really interesting, we haven't had a lot of snowfall this year, so you'd think avalanche conditions may not be as dangerous, but what's actually happening here is the uh, snowpack is very shallow right now, so in these moderate conditions, we're actually seeing uh, more triggered avalanches, smaller ones, mm -hmm. but uh, it's becoming more dangerous than we've seen in years past with less snow. And you saw me buried. I was in a very controlled environment. I was in bounds, but when you get off those groomed runs and into the back country, it is a whole different animal. So it is so important to make sure you're checking avalanche conditions and that you have the right equipment. Wow, those dogs are amazing. Thank you for that look, Laura. And speaking yeah. of equipment, we do have a list of resources for you on our KOAA app and website, koaa.com.